Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday in City Skylines. I am Palpatine 001, aka The Senate. We've got a community ch challenge going, and we're back in the mixed reality creation of South Auckland. So then, I hope everyone had a good weekend. We did a bonus stream of uh, Dice and Sphere program on Monday to make up for the fact I was offline yesterday. And look at that, we've already got the first 310 points away to the bonus 12 hour stream. Thank you. Shakai Doe, if I've mispronounced that, my absolute apologies. So the goal is 80,000 within 30 days. Can we meet it? We'll soon find out. Anyway, so back to this. So we have got the bare bones laid out for the city. Now we're just going to start getting the infrastructure lined up. And by that I mean the non-roading infrastructure. The rest of the infrastructure is done. Now we've just got to get the rest of it in place. So, let's get this start. Oh, wait for the autosave. That was quick. Well... No, no, it's about right, the 10 minute mark. Uh, is that, I'm going to pronounce it one of two ways, and this is because of, because of how um, the vowels are sent here, vowels are sent here in New Zealand because of Teruyama, is, is it Shika or Shika? And from Mitch's stream, well, welcome. It's always good to see a fellow uh, chat um, person from Mitch's stream over. I just wait for the auto save to kick out. There we go. Okay. So the zoning's already in place. So we don't have to worry about. Oh, did I actually get the zoning all down? Yeah, the zoning is all down. So I don't need to worry about that. In fact, what we will do uh, is the mixed use zoning on. Yep. Um, oh, that's not going to do what I want. And you can't do that either. Because that's going to give me high density straight off the bat, but I can't mix the two. Um, fudge. All right, all right, <laughs> all good. But welcome to the stream anyway. Okay, so we will... Yeah, we'll have to run it. Oh, that's already been zoned, has it? Oh, okay, that's fine. So then we'll run it on that side. And I think what we can do is... Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. So we've got the basic premise of the zoning down. So now we've got to set up the infrastructure properly. So that is there. It's a two-laner, isn't it? Yep. Uh, to be honest, all you need for this one is really that. So yeah, we've got to get the infrastructure in that um, set up. And then we should have to release the simulator tonight. Uh, wrong way. So I'm going to go through the infrastructure, all of it. And we'll do what each one does. So I'm going to start with... Um, I'm actually going to start with city services first. So we're going to start with garbage and power. Oh, they will do slowly. Um, the streams only just come on, and most of them are still over at another streamer at the moment. So they'll come on slowly. This is also what I call the graveyard shift. So Wednesday nights are pretty quiet. Unless North America decides to be up for some odd hour of the night. Okay. So we'll put him in place. Now I don't want to... How big is the recycling center? Okay, so that's there. So put him in one over there. The catch is, this is from Sunset Harbor. So this just basically picks up the garbage. You still need a place to process it. So I'll need to go and put him in. And he gets put in over at the industry. So, what way are the roads facing? Okay, the roads are facing that way, are they? Okay. 
Also, the mods will be on later as well. The mods usually come on in about half an hour. So, no, usually. So, don't worry, they'll be around. So, waste processing. Okay, so that goes down. Don't he? Oh, yeah, he does carry garbage. A bucket load of it, too. So, he would go... There. So, that takes care of those two. Now, water I should already have in position. I do. That's too many water pumps for the area. So, what we'll do is... Drop to two. Have I got a water tower in line? Yep. Because the water power, water pumps are very um, overpowered, so it would just totally burn out. Or completely suck the river up. So that's there. Did I already put garbage in? Uh, sorry, surgeon. Yes, I did over there. So that's fine. Okay, so now we'll start going over. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's there, that's there. So next thing we need is the civic infrastructure. So let's start with... Um, we'll use the New Zealand assets. And we've just got to bear in mind where everything is. So, what road? Was that a bus? No, that was a cycle lane. Okay, so that could back up. I could swing that into... I could swing it into a bus lane. It would depend. The road's easily upgradable. So, um, I'm not overtly fussed there. So, we'll go... Healthcare there. Um, and hopefully Prop Anarchy is not on. Put the cemetery, uh, the crematorium there. So I'm using New Zealand assets at the moment. Um, those two can step up. I'm just wondering, is it going to fit or is it not? Well, that particular one does. Let's see if I can go slightly bigger. Um, I can use this. In the winter map, I could... Oh, it does too. Because I couldn't use it in the winter map. Because it would look extremely odd. So that's healthcare, death care. So now we go to fire. Okay, and oh, I've got to bear that in mind too. So it's, um, this is only a small development, so. Um, oh, given it's going to be high density in that. Uh, just a pot. I was just going to ponder how this is actually going to work. That one might be a little bit... Oh, what's that road going up? That's a one way. Not going to work. So I've got a... Um, we're not doing Dyson Sphere. I really need to knock that one off when I'm not doing Dyson Sphere. So that might be a bit too big. This would be more than enough. But I've also got to do... Not short circuit myself with. It's pretty large, so one there. I'm going to do a second fire department too. Um, because that is industry. Okay, so that road is there. So the fire department goes there. I build a large one. I've still got to get a road over there. So we'll do him in a minute. Police. For. We'll run a large police department. Um, yep, we can place him there. And a small one. There. Okay. And because we're only just starting out. Keep the school reasonably close by. So, school there. High school can be a little bit further away. I 
I'm will be tempted to put him there. Um, no point putting a library. Um, can run the this early. This will get replaced later on with a um, a full fledged university. This is that because we're starting the city, it's a little bit silly to do so. So the next thing I've got to work out is where am I going to dump the campus? So if that's government house, and that's going to be all the civic infrastructure. What do we got there? Big eight laner. Station there, station there. Yeah, that would be suited. So I'll mark out the education facility now. So we'll have a city centre one. It's rare for me to bring a university. Well, yeah, it is actually. So we'll mark him out as the university for later on. And at the same time, we'll also mark out. Oh, I've already marked out. No, I have not. Uh, yes, I have. Is that already marked out, is it? Yes, it is. So I've already got the place for the amusement park ready to go. Okay, so that means the last thing we need to do for this moment is parks. So, rule of thumb, you know, work, this is, as you'll notice in the title, this is mixed reality. So we're working with, we're blending virtual, which is City Skylines, to the real world. And the real world back into city skylines so the concept around the parks is the same the entertainment value around the small park is better than the large park okay you get more bang for your buck out of the small park than you do the large park so and they also just fit better whereas if i was to do the large park uh wrong one That said, they do have a place if you're building a custom-made park. But if you're just running standard run-of-the-mill parks, this is more than enough. Especially when you um, back it up with playgrounds. So we're only starting out, so we don't need to go... Oh, you know, we could go do a large one to start with. And then just another small one over here. And um, I'll use a custom made one for this. And I've got the perfect one in mind. I don't think that's going to work. They're not set up properly. Actually, that would be perfect, but wrong. So. So that one back to parks uh, so paths okay so it's the path in shoot back over and I don't think we need to go that crappy team we'll shove in some public toilets this time I won't forget these I usually forget them it's like where do your sims go to the top oh it's a case of literally oh Makes for a bit of a, a bit of a, uh, uh, it's a playground, so you should. Yeah, well, okay, and that leaves to drop, um, I'll shoot to tourism. I will, no, that will usually sit here. That sits there. Oh, I need another park here. This is the one time, one of the few times now, a um, oh, and a single dog park would suffice. This is one of the few times a large park will work, but I won't do it. I'll just slap in the botanical gardens. Okay, so that's the parks all set up. You don't need to worry about it in industry. Well, typically you don't. But for those that are concerned.
put on the Japanese guard. Now Rico has been used. So Rico is residential, industrial, commercial, office. So those are those are the effectively that's the custom zones. Your zones. But what Rico does is it allows me to take any building that's ploppable, so not growable. Growable is what grows inside a zone on its own. Ploppable is anything that you plop down ma manually. So I can take any ploppable building and give it the residential, so dwelling space, jobs, production if it's industry, or tourism or leisure value. So you, this pack and save here, which is a New Zealand based supermarket, was recoded. 250, well, that's quite high. Although, no, it'd be about right if you include part time staff, and then four workers for the petrol station. Um, they're fully automated, so technically would carry, they would carry zero. Wait for the auto save. It doesn't matter. Jobs is jobs. We'll do it. Now I'll. Next thing I'll do is line up the power. No, I'll line up the water and surge because they're tied. I don't need to worry about district heating. Well, not that I should. Not that I should think so. Um, let's go to the theme mixer. Go to weather. What are we looking at? It's minimum temperatures. Okay, no, we do drop. We actually have quite a... So, minus 1.3 to plus 30. Okay, so district heating is technically needed. Okay, so that is an element... That was me playing around with the theme mix and not um, <laughs> paying attention. We'll keep it. Because that actually mimics my home city IRL. So, we'll keep it. Um, it just makes for an interesting um, hot mess scenario a little later on. So, um, can't run standard water. I'm going to need to run heated pipes. For this. Uh, is Anarchy on? Anarchy's off. Oh. Actually, let's just take care of this first, so... Yeah, because the, as soon as your temperatures drop below 10 degrees Celsius in the city, you'll need district heat. You should be running district heating unless you want to completely blow your power grid out. Um, because it's also impacted by your policies. And I'll show you what I mean when I go to policies in a moment, because I'm going to set the policies in such a way that they use just the central district heating. So I'm just putting that in place for now. What road am I using? Am I using a flush? Okay, so that comes up here. Oh, I was going to do t um, another set of y another Yumberlander change. I'll just do the one. So... One more. Okay, so we're going to place down what's called a Yumble interchange. So Yumble, Yumble is a stream. He's currently online at the moment. Um, he's also a City Skylines player like I am. And he will put things up into the workshop like these interchanges. So it just saves me f um, fluffing about. Okay, so that's done. Connect this up, and we'll do some what's called some um, lay mathematics on the side. It will be done. Don't worry about the. Oh, ouch. Don't worry about the road kinking in that because that's gonna. Um, I'm gonna need. I'll use what's called move it mod to iron that out. I just need to get it all lined up first before we can continue. So. Um. These are t those are typically goes by asymmetricals for the asymmetricals. Uh, where is that road? 
Okay, I've got to be careful. There's also a railway nearby. Okay. So that will be facing the wrong way. Thank you. And I'll do the lane mathematics on that in just a second. You might be hearing me use a lot of terminology at the moment. If you ever get lost on what I mean by any of the uh, terminology used, just let me know in chat. I'll stop and I'll um, go into it. More than happy to do so. This is a casual play, casual play through, but I'm more than happy to uh, stop and go through things. Oh shoot! Prop hammer keys on. So I thought I had that turned off. Obviously not. I would have. I was just trying to think what I would have used it for. Now there's a railway there. I've got a factor in too. Um. Oh, he'll go around. So that's fine. Okay. Let's get this lined up. That's fine. And that's fine. Okay, so that's lined up fine. So we'll just... Um, excuse me a minute. I'm just going to do these interchanges. Wrong way. Is it going to let me do it from that angle? Yeah, it will. It's fine. And then one more going out. Wrong way around. Thank you. So, let me just adjust these quickly. And then I'll quickly do the highway. Uh, sorry, TMP. So we're using Traffic Manager President Edition just to line everything up. So, so that's that done. It's not a left turn. The great thing about these gamble interchanges is that's, that they're small and compact, but they don't, well, they should not be creating conflicting movements in most cases. Go that way. That way. So straight. Left. Okay, so that's that done. There's, I have done other examples of this interchange and how it's all set up. I'll go to it in a moment. Because the like I've also done the lane ma line markings for it as well, so I'll show you what they look like. So that's all fine. Now I just need to straighten these out. Oh, is that going to be a simple case of? Literally bending the road around. So lane mathematics applies. Three plus one equals four. Don't say two plus two equals five, or two plus or seven. Um, five plus two equals two. I have seen dodgy late mathematics at interchanges before, and believe me, it will create the biggest traffic screw ups you can imagine. So three plus one is four. So to avoid traffic congestion early on, what you do is uh, we'll bring him around. Okay, so that's going to do that, is it? So that needs to come back even further. So This might be a case of doing this the other way. Okay, let's try. Where's that road? There. Okay, so that should mean... I do the same in reverse. If you're thinking, hey, you're going in reverse and doing left-hand traffic. I know. But there's a little trick to this. And believe me, it's a, uh, believe me, if you do City Skylines, this saves you a lot of grief. Okay. So now we're going to turn it around. So, exclamation mark. 
Right click, right click, right click, right click. Done. Okay, so you see lane mathematics is in play. Now, and if you're still not sure, let me help you with some visualization. Right. Okay. Um, damn. Solid. Point three. Copy. Paste. 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 Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you visually. Paste. Ta-da. Three plus one. One. Two. Three. Four. Chevron. Facing the wrong way. So we've got to. Um, turn done and if you want to know what it looks like going back the other way paste some more pasting okay paste paste One, two, so now holding down alt, one, two, three, four, chevron, done, and for those being a little bit picky in particular, exit, I'll name it later. Um, should actually convert that to PO so I can edit it later. So that will pick up a number later. So there you go there. And for those wondering on this side. Uh, it's a left hand because we do left hand traffic. So that would be convert to PO. Done. Take procedures back off. And as soon as we go down into first person mode. There we go. Added lane. Is the lane there? Yeah, it's a little bit on the curve. What do you do? And on that side. There. Okay. So now we're going to repeat the same for here. I'm not going to do the line markings now. Okay, so that's done there. I'll just use move it to iron these out. Okay, and then I'm going to switch over to my other favorite row. So I'm now using the vanilla plus. It's a little bit more of a seamless. Um, did they do a 2 2? Oh, you silly bastards. That is called Dodgy Lane Mathematics. Ugh! And that's for Mr. Miyagi. He should, he should know a little bit better. Okay, that's um, dodgy as anything. So I'll have to fix that up later. Cause that's um oh okay that's interesting that should be that should be a four str uh where's that one going is that going to the inter no yes so let me just i'm just gonna um <laughs> that makes for a very steep ramp 
makes for a very steep ramp. So, and I don't think a three is going to work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. So, that's a simple... case of just going back to a four. That is... Oh well, part and parcel when you use a custom map, a custom made map. whoop de doo So... Okay, so... So what I'll do is do this. Shoot back to... Yeah, so that gives enough run up. don't need that much of a run-up to get off. Okay, that's his... So that's motorway to motorway, isn't it? Oof. But, oh, that's a... That's a yeah, that's okay. It's going to make some, for some interesting detailing later on. Oop, auto-save, and I might need to run pre-rolls. Morning, pirate, how are you? Oh, it's evening my side. So, how's things going? I just realized that um, I have set this to the temperatures and the through theme mixer to um, drop below 10 degrees. So, I've just got to um, take it on the probability that um, I'm going to need to use district heating for this. It doesn't bother me. I was like going to say, I was just like, oh, whoops. So for those wondering, this came with the Snowfall DLC. Um, I am actually going to need to run pre-rolls. So what we're going to do is we're going to run our pre-rolls quickly. And that gives us an extra 30 minutes of no ads for those walking in. If you don't like the ads, feel free to check a sub. I'm doing well. So the long weekend's been and gone as I explained in Dyson Sphere program on Monday, which was a public holiday. Um, so today, what's today? Wednesday, because yesterday I was off. I had to intend to other things. So yeah, I was tending to other. Th I was tending to things. Like so no, today's been good. It's um, we've just had a huge amount of urban and rural planning legislation just come through the house through the parliament today so that's going to be three years of absolute fun and chaos <laughs> getting that through as we replace an older piece of legislation so apart from that uh, it's been okay it's a short week this week and at the moment we've got rain the summer rains that the february summer rains have set in which means Temp hot temperatures, humidity, and rain. We've also got the community challenge um, going as well. So, if that gets met, we will be doing a bonus 12-hour stream. So, hopefully... So, oh, and speaking of which... Yo, yeah, you were there in Dyson... <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, well, uh, for some reason, all our public holidays get stacked up to Easter. Then we have Queen's birthday in June. We have Matariki, mind you, next year on the 24th of June. And then we have nothing to Labour Weekend. So we go through the whole winter and most of the spring without a public holiday. And Drennan just dropped 2,000. Well, there we go. Evening, Drennan. How are you? I am doing well. Is that the ads out? Woohoo. Oh, there goes another 2,000. Okay, so let's settle going. So district, welcome back everyone. So we are going to do district heating. Now because because the city will get cold and it's going to be impacted by policy. So there's two ways you can do it. Through oil, which is like crappy, but produces a lot. Or you can use geothermal. So we are going to use geothermal next to the nuclear power station. Because we have to. Because this is a... Um... So where's the water? The water's there. Okay, so what we will do is run this straight down the highway this is going to be the easiest way to do this and then start lighting this up As I said earlier, because the temperature drops below 10 degrees at night, we have to use um, uh, the district heating schemes. I can, and the policies go to electricity only, but that's one good way of having your power stations working flat out harder than they need to. That said... And that's a rather big that said. I am running the um, the Doel, uh I can see chat too, by the way. The Doel nuclear power stations, which produce, off the top of my head, 2 gigawatts of power, which is enough to power a city of up to 150,000, no problem. So, electricity is not going to be exactly be the problem today. I will turn him off. There's no point having him on. So, yes, I am laying out a lot of pipe ahead of time. Oh, yeah, Easter. Yep. Oh, Dyson. We're not doing Dyson Sphere at the moment. Yeah, so we have ours New Year's Day, day after New Year's. If those two days fall on the weekend, you get the days observed after that. Then you've got the anniversary holidays. So, Auckland's is on, was quite late this year, 1st of February. Um, then you have Waitangi Day, which is our national day, which was the Saturday, just gone, plus it's observed day, which was this Monday, hence why we had another three day weekend. Woohoo! Two in a row. And then Easter, then Anzac Day, which we celebrate with the Aussies in tandem. And then Queen's birthday from next year we'll have Matariki involved. So that's Māori New Year. Then Labour Weekend. Then Christmas and... Um, Boxing Day, which those again, those two days are observed if they fall on a weekend. So with piping, I usually like to run piping... Um, quite ahead of time so I'm not having to do massive expansions of it early so I can do incremental adding on to the city so that's the water and sewage all done just don't tell too legit he'll have an absolute ma is it too legit or captain obvious that does the pipes so oops Oh shoot, no, that's alright. 
I'll just go. Okay, so that's they all like so we've got the power lined up. Okay, so that means next up is power. Now, because I do power somewhat realistically, I said somewhat realistically, I've got to make sure that it is lined up um, properly. Okay. So that's the city centre. So there's multiple ways to skin this cat. So that would be a... Yeah, that would be a 400 two sets of 400 so that's a 400 circuit so we've got to work out which way circuits how many circuits have i got on here six is it six or eight six so that circuit would go that way this circuit would go to the port and the industry let's do the industry first so to do the industry is how much industry we're we looking at dropping quite a bit so that's not that's a little bit too much for a 35 so we'll use the 220, 275 KVs. So that would mean we drop the substation. Oh, we can run a 35 as a booster. Um, promise that's a big whopping power plant. So technically, on a technical definition, um, wrong road. So we can. I can actually run more circuits. So what we will do is we will do that. So two. Oh, what the heck? Four, six, eight. Okay, which means technically I only need the four circuits there and they will be linked by hang on I need to just do oh. okay so now we can link it up with the big 800s um, that one is going to go that particular direction, so keep number. So two eight hundreds, and then we will draw. Okay, so those are the circuits lined up. Well, as best as they're going to be. Okay. So the port is a... What's the port going to end up being? Oh, yeah. No, it is a 35 and a 1... Uh, 275. So we're doing the power circuits at the moment. So let's line up the 275 first. don't want it crossing the railroad it doesn't need to cross the railroad whoops okay that was a bit of a miss where's the circuit there uh, the thing there Make sure that's not going to interfere with the railway. Nope, so that's the 275. Now I'll run a 230. So I'll show you why we're running the 35. 
connection one. Connection two, so to fix that up, we do is just to boost it out just shove in a transformer oh I might actually do the EPR this time I think it's a single reactor plant though isn't it so yeah check out the power differences 800 to 2.5 that's massive. That's a huge difference. Um, I'll check the EPR out though in a minute. Oh, uh, wait, is it? Oh, sorry, 1.6, because you put the two together. So I might do the um, EPR this time, just to, just to spice it up a little. Okay, so. So, um, he's got to come down here. Oh, yeah, that's going to present a few small problems. So, it's not. Oh, what did I say? Yeah, that's an, at that point I've noticed, given where the game is made, though, I don't, but because they are nuclear powered where paradox colossal order is bait and paradox is based uh because they're nuclear powered they're more likely to do what the russians do and run electricity and steam rather than natural gas so in one way it wouldn't make sense in the other ways it would I'll give one thing to these power lines is they do give a decent set of realism to the city when it's all strung out. Behave game. Thank you. And what this allows is just to extend the line. Okay, so that's that one done. Now I need to work out the next substation. Which is probably going to be right in there. So I need to work out what I'm going to feed that into. Once. Um, yep, yeah, it's two circuits. Two circuits should be enough. Because um, one would. Because I'd be dropping another circuit in. Um, somewhere up here with the 800s. So it's a 400 circuit coming in, and then there would be a 35 circuit coming back. So that would sit. There, and it's connected straight up, which is excellent. So... That is a 400 coming over. That leaves me enough room to put another circuit on that side. If I need to bring it over. So where's the power? Right there. Okay. So this is a case of um, how am I wanting to run this and where's the 35 I've also got to watch it that the fact I'm also going to be running a railroad back in here so circuits one and two are taken there yeah it's so a circuit three 
this is circuit three so we run him down it's not going to interfere with the railway then he would come across then let's try to think how do i want to run this There's no interchanges going on there, so I don't need to worry. Um, the catch is, am I going to be dumping any interchanges in here? No. The answer to that question is no, I am not. Uh, what are we protesting? Oh, ramps. I won't like the ramps. Okay. And then just run him... It's a shame I can't curve these. This is the only annoyance with um, power lines. So I can't curve them. Okay, so that's that connected. And now I just need to draw a 35 back. So welcome for those who have just joined us. I am Palpatine001, aka the Senate, and we are doing continuing with our city tonight in City Skylines. What we are doing at the moment is lining up the infrastructure to allow us to release the simulator, which we're about to do. Okay, so that's... Now the thing is, I can bring another 400 circuit straight down here if I need to to cross over between here and here now I need to check my zonings to see where the zonings are right they're there and there okay so run him there run him straight across Oh, is that going to line up? Certainly did. Okay, that allows that to happen. Um, oh, nuts. It doesn't allow that to happen, though. So what we'll do is just place another one there. Yep. Oh, no. Cheating. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, these are not going to be instantly powered. What I am hoping for is the demand straight away so the building will allow it to happen now i've done all the roundabouts so they are all done to be honest that should be just a simple giveaway What I, whoa. what I do need to do is I need to add a fire station there and that's for a damn good rate oh wait so I'm going to take him off I'm going to build the French EPR I'm going to keep that particular building there because I can play around with the customization. Oh, wait, is that the other way around? No, it shouldn't. Uh, yeah, something tells me it's going to be the other way around, isn't it? Yep, because that's the turbine hall. Ah. Try that again. So the reactor hall. Would go there. And the turbine hall.
it's missing half it's missing a pile of props I can tell let me just do a quick flipsies on this I have a feeling this is we're going to be doing this again. Ha ha ha. Lucky unlimited money's on. And I know what. So put him there. Put him back in here. What I'm going to do is use move it. Because I like to move it. Move it. Okay, so that's done, and then I can add more detailing in that later on. So that would sit just in there. Brilliant. And then I'll just quickly touch this up. Give me two seconds, chat. Uh, roll one. And then we can detail this up later. So those circuits are in front of the turbine hall, which is the proper place. Hey, Jumanji. Um, actually, that's a good point. Oh, I know what the ins. Uh, let's try. I can always tell it to back off. Oh, uh, you get. Yeah, you're gonna get this pro problem, which I suppose is right. You can't curve wires in real life. The only way they curve is to run through junctions. around the poles so yeah I can understand that okay so that's the power station that's the district heating okay that's all in place so that leaves well no it's a bit too soon to do buses because we're only going around in a loop however however see that's a tram oh that's a tram and bus road. oh I've already got the bus road set up okay so we're set up to go Okay, so we're going to take a quick save. We're going to take some pictures. We're going to release this, and then it just gets the first map development underway. the fan. <laughs> ah, the first fight always takes forever. Oh, I haven't done the paths yet. Haha, <laughs> rep. Okay, no, we're not releasing the simulator yet. I haven't finished the parving. So that's what the city looks like from the bay. Okay. Sorry, I have not finished. I have not done two things yet. So we'll just build some four meters. I just entirely miss. I 
I'm sure just dead because reasons. Dip. Okay. So that's the. Oh yeah, these look better out of the snow. I was going to say that in in the map I did last time. They looked absolutely um, horrible, and I didn't like it one little bit. Uh, what's going on here, map? Ah, uh, okay. And then we will game. Oh, I don't like it when it does that. That's the only catch of these maps. Uh, these particular kind of paths. Whoa. So you get this problem. Okay, I think what we're going to do is might put Anarchy back on. Uh, no. Yes. Thank you. Actually, take that off. Oh, it still does that. Oh, that's, um... That's one of the reasons why those particular paths are a bit of a... are a bit of a bugbear. That said... Huh. Let's try these quickly. No, these ones connect up a little bit better, so we'll run with them. Okay, so that's done, that's done. It's a small amount of residential to start with, but it's enough to get us going. Um, yep, that's fine. Oh, auto save. That road has me a little bit worried. I think what I'm going to do... No, it really does have me worried. I might... Make that a two-lane... Oh, okay. I might make that a two-lane out. So... Ah, wrong one. Down there... So I just want to... no. no. I'll leave that off. Oh, there is one thing I need to do. Parking. It's on that side, isn't it? So that's off. That's off. But that stays on. Okay. Um, he didn't make a sign, did he? No. Okay. I think we're ready to go. <laughs> Emphasis I saying on I think we are ready to go. Um I'll have to, oh yeah. Cause we're not fully connected up yet. So These will get demolished. This is that we're not fully... Con uh, I don't think the wind's particularly flash hot. Oh, it is. Okay. okay we're just doing these temporary power mesh... Um, measures for the moment that should not require more than a transformer uh, is that also three megawatts five 
That's even more powerful. I'll keep that. So that's that done. Oh, because of the way this trees and I've got fires enabled. Okay, I better build one of. those and the last thing we need oh did I build that and everyone's going wait what no I didn't hmm <laughs> and people says would you yeah I would actually Uh, no, because they will congest the cargo area up. Just in case, there's a case of do I want to add a distribution center for the post? Oh, okay, it faces that direction. Oof, okay, um, hmm. You know what? Let's just do a quick bit of magic here. Whoa, hello, Marlo! How is Marlo? And how is String? They were doing art. Oh, please fill us in on what you were doing. I am super... Oh, yeah. Go the bacon. Go the bacon. Yeah. Can we get some bacon in chat? Well, we certainly just did. What art were you up to today? Super, super curious. Dun 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 So what I'm doing here is just checking the speed limits to make sure they're um, where they need to be. I think I did all of them up. all up I believe okay it looks like we're ready to go hmm yeah now I'm hungry oh I'll have to we'll have to check it out we're working on Morgan's redemption oh did Morgan do a redemption nice on Morgan on buggles US UK and Aussie flags with respect of animals so US is the bald eagle um, UK would be... Some fill me in on that one. The Aussies are the emu. Well, actually, no, what, what were the picks for the Aussies? Okay, so we're ready to go, but the first thing I need to do first is 
I just need to see where we are with pre-rolls because I don't want to be running the simulator on the first go. So we're going to release the simulator tonight. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> too much art. You can, there's no such thing as too much art, is there? That would be the question. So I'm just going to run a ad break and then we will start the simulator. All right, so while we wait for that to uh, progress through, so we've got the main part of the city ready to go. So the main, you'll see other parts of the infrastructure being formed out. But we're just going to get going with the first bit so we can actually get some run so-called some runs on the board and now the themes are going to be a little bit different usually i use the european theme this time i will be using the um, international themes this time uh city-wide as a default policy There's a lot, yeah, lion, and then the row. Um, I've got TTS now live for bits. I had that enabled the other day. So if you chuck in 100 bits or more, you should get some smart-ass remark from Brian, whatever you type into chat. So I did enable... I did enable the bits. We also have the community challenge going, which is up at the top of your stream at the moment. So we are, um, set, that is now currently underway. But yeah, 100 bits or more in chat should have Brian saying a smart ass remark. Okay, so that's the pre-rolls done. Right. Okay, so yeah, it looks like a whole lot of bare bones I set up. That's there's a point behind that. Um Fair enough, yeah, post stream nibbles, I get those too. Okay, so that would run there. To be honest, how's that how have I set the lane dynamics down? You know, that would be done properly, so we would run it in there. Right, let's release the simulator. First of all, I need to check the policies. Policies, 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 and I need to go city-wide for this. So this will be city-wide. So what have we got? Recycling on... Um, I'm actually just going to go specific for a moment. Okay, that's already been set, so I don't need to worry about them. Okay, no electricity for heat. So you can only use the district heating. So that will save on the reactors. Uh, we will have blimps in that running. Taxation. City planning. Um, given that proximity, I am going to turn electric cars on. Okay, that's all fine and themes should be automatically set to yep so the policies are set to go there's no public transport yet the city's way too small let's release the simulator and see what happens um before we even do that let's i don't think it's um turn day night cycle on oh no 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 have I set up, uh, the other thing I need to do is set up real time, not real time, 
Oh yeah, real time for one. So make sure real time is set properly. Yep, that's all fine because that's uh, those are global. I'm going to switch that to 2330. I'm going to move that to 2230. Time. These should all be global. Disable vague. What kind of mean bastard are you to disable vague? Someone would. <laughs> I think I'm being a little bit generous there, but I'll leave her alone. Um, that's all fine. TMP's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's TMP I was looking for. Okay, simulation set to high. Mine, I've already set that all up. I must have done it in the other stream. Right. Let's do this. Yeah, so we've got international turned on. And away we go. Um, I just need to do something in the background first. Save's not going to help. Whoops, that was right on top of the auto save. Damn. Okay. Gotta wait for that to disappear. Ah, dumb. Okay, so we are going to, it's just the way these are not set up yet. So what we will do, is I will speed this up partially. Okay, yeah, so we've got the international thing, so away we go. Look at that all go. So now we're just waiting for the sims to slowly move themselves in. So we'll just let the simulator run, because we've got to let it catch up with itself. Um, industry is a bit of a nitpicker mostly, so I might force this out with... Just to get us going. That might just get us going slightly. Yeah. 
that will give us jobs and that will just get a bit of production underway okay so it's coming along well we've got people moving in so that means I can start the next part of the operation so that will be a two plus one so we're gonna do some low density stuff now uh, I think it's new it should be this one no not uh, no it might be a small road let's try small road small road yes no please <laughs> this happens you have too many roads well, bike lanes thank you I do try and make biking cities and uh, not always successful We try. Can we get a sixty degree angle in there, team? Yep. We can go and facing the wrong way. There we go. Okay, so what we've got to watch here is the way. Okay, so, oh, that doesn't matter because they've got other ways of getting in. So I'm not too focused on. Oh, we've got rain. Oh, nice. No, that game. Wait, what? Okay, that's it. I'm still going to put the residential down, so. And they all go. It's nice to see things. Oh, what? Oh, ha ha. Guess what I have not done? Ripski. He won't have any power. Okay, just wait for the storage to come online. <laughs> oh, that was a bit dumb. Yep, there we go. So we've got our first set of housing. That is looking... I've forgotten how much I hate the international thing. <laughs> oh, I might put the European thing back on later and just go, yep, be done with it. Okay. Now, you're thinking, why the hell am I adding more residential at a time like this? Well, two reasons, actually. Families with children. And then... Yeah, so that's the reason why. Okay, so we'll use our Dutch roads for these. So if I, and because I'm not using the snowfall map, they were. I love these roads. There's some absolutely beautiful roads in this game that are just. Yeah. Okay, so where's that marker there? So that's. and so what we'll do is run him there and see that's right next to a highway so I've, I've got to bear that in mind Ah, that's right, it will have a tendency to do this. Um, so what we will do is knock that out. Okay, and we'll try that again for... 
there. Creates a bit of a cul-de-sac situation, but... Um, I want I'm not too overtly fussed about, actually. So I might... You know what? I am actually going to do that. Because you don't need it all the way up. So... Okay, so we do that. Now, yeah, see, we've got, we'll have quite a bit of demand for a while. So let's check up on the pipes. These should already be piped. This is why you do the piping in advance. It saves you a lot of problems. Okay, so that means how we are on schools. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll be fine for, oh, I might chuck in a community school, actually. So we'll chuck that in there. And then we'll chuck in a park. Just a small park. I said a small park, you... Small park there. Small playground there. Chuck in the tropical garden there. Put that there. It's looking good, team. We're looking good. I'll just chuck in um, some health, extra health care on the side. So we'll chuck in a yoga garden, shall we? Should we chuck in a yoga garden? I think we'll chuck in a yoga garden. And we'll chuck in a bit small all for that jazz yet, but we will chuck in a spa. So now, what's the district? What's the districting set to? Okay, so what I'll do is extend him over a bit. Don't need to worry about commercial. Nowhere near it ready for that yet so here 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 um hmm okay i'll have to use that tool might do is go back to my mixed zoning do that and I'll just keep that free for civic I just want to see what's gonna actually no I might oh hello why have I got a spare I've got a spare zone. So those two, those two, those two. It's the town center that's been taken offline. That's interesting. There would have been a reason for that. Uh, yeah, you don't want to dump that there. Oh, I know what I can set up for. 
I just had an idea. So that would be I th that just takes that because I don't want high density commercial flooding down it. So that would sit in there. Okay. Oh, we're into night time. So because we've got real time on night and construction will stop. Rather stick poppers on, so. Yeah, look, we've got cyclists already. Ah, here we go. How are we going for jobs there? Three and. Oh, okay. So it looks like I'll be taking artificial control of the arm. So I can, I'll probably be taking artificial control of the industry. A little bit of a pain in the ass, but, um, what the heck? That's a police, did I build a police heli depot? A rep? I did, didn't I? Where did I put it? Oh. Ah. Uh, I wanted a fire depot. Because I have a... No, because... Yeah. Oh, that's right. I also remember it's also suddenly massive. You're putting it next to power lines is going to go down real well, Ting. Um, oh, I need to get a fire department over there. Damn, that was incredibly silly. Swap right in the warehouse district. Yep, I wonder what they've been up to. Oh, no, that's powered already. Oh, would I save? And we're off again. Is he just on patrol, is he? Searching for criminal. Oh, someone's done something wrong. So, let's... So this is what the city looks like. Well, this is what my small little town looks like. Hey Rev, how are you going? Welcome to the stream. We're just, we've released the simulator, so everyone's going. Ah, oh, look at that. Happy time zone. Yeah, it's currently 8.28 p.m. at the moment. The Auroras should be currently on. Yes, they are. They're just not showing. Buried. I've been doing its competitor game, um, Dyson Sphere program, which is proving to be a, you know, we'll blame Pirate Turtle for that. It's just been a very interesting game. It's been enjoyable, but... 
Wow, that's a few people that the pack can save. Going for it, so and all the low density stuff there. So we've just got to wait for the make sure the police can rate ra ra oh, that. So what's going on here? I think they just haven't gotten there yet. So what I'll do is shove in another one. I'm just wondering if the game is going to let me Ah, it's night time, so we won't. Wait, we might. Where's this guy going? Rizai? He's going home. Let's see if... Oh, it's an electric car. <laughs> More conveyor belts. Yep, that's fair enough. I... No, we're not doing Dyson Sphere program at the moment. I've, I've, been, I've enjoyed those. I finally got the space elevators built, so we're now just able to bring in raw materials into the home world. So, slowly but surely, we're getting going in that game. I, I enjoy it. It's great fun. It was a bit of an uphill thing to start with at first, but we got there. Okay, so the auroras are going to do this. This is probably because I'm at lower latitudes that does this. Okay, he's going to use the other exit. I love the erratic lane change. You're just like a typical car driver. I'm going to use the Yumble to change. So, which interchanges are you going to use? He's going to use that one. He's going to use the second Yumble to change. I always like dropping down into first person mode when well, you can. Oh, yeah. Yep, some good old fashioned tactical urbanism. I've forgotten what the international style looks like because the last six maps or so I've been doing for the last two years have been European. So I've forgotten what the international theme looks like. Oh, he's going to pack and save, is he? Oh, he's going to the supermarket. Gas station. Why did he just... Oh, okay. Oh, I have not... Is he going to do what I think he's going to do? Is he going to pull onto the left? Yep. Okay. Yeah, there he goes now. So there he is. Okay, so they're going to... Oh, sorry, she. 
Okay, so that means I need to... Um, with the junction restrictions. Enable U-turns on this and... Uh, enable U-turns on these. Because otherwise they're going to end up doing the loop. Oh, excuse me. So that's a good point to note. Ah, this is... Why not zone to that side? Oh, I didn't zone that side. Oh, well that was intelligent. It is. I, I will often, I usually do it off stream. Although I have, I do videos of it. The best way to analyze traffic is drop straight down the first person view and then just watch them just drive about. It's great fun watching them do it. And you do see where, so here we go, here's another one. And you get to see where the traffic problems are. Works especially well on public transport. It's gone home. So I know exactly where the faults are. The other way to do it is basically... Um, I just get an upgrade for no reason. The other way to do it is just drop straight down to first person mode. And just do this. And you get to see all sorts in your... Um, You'll get to see what's going on in your city live. So, but no, that nine times out of ten, I'll be in first-person mode when the simulator is live. It's just so I can see exactly what is going on down there, because this view doesn't give me the best view. So you can see all the construction waiting to start, but it won't until it's the morning. That's because real time's on. <laughs> yeah, everyone follows the hot dog car. So we've got to wait till this rolls to the morning. You can see that the foundations are laid, but nothing will be built yet. And then we can get ready to do our next area, which will be in here again. Just, ah, uh, I've got power lines in there. They'll just be straight residential. But it will not connect. Oh, I... I've got railway in there. Okay. Is that two? Ooh, okay, that's going to be interesting to do. Oh, okay. here. Oh. We're dro at six degrees. Okay, we're going to have residential demand, so that means these should be operating. Yes, they are. So we are drawing in off the grid. Brilliant. So, ooh, that's dropping down quite cold. So next areas we'll look at developing. I'll leave the coastal areas to last because I will, um, I usually, I have other things in mind for that. Yeah, so we're going to have a bit of residential demand, so we can probably come over to this side now. I think there's railway all in there. And we do not build on this at all. That's designed to be... In fact, what have I got that set to as a speed limit? Hopefully high speed. No, I haven't. It's 
because that's designed to be an expressway between the industry and the um, cargo terminals. Yeah, so yeah, if we were to come down to first person mode in the low density area, you can see the foundations are laid down. This is not the best road to do this with because I've got it's quite tree uh, I've got a lot of trees so oh, yeah you can see the foundations in that are laid down all ready to go hmm. so we'll probably look at backfilling in here with just residential um light density and then we'll slowly cut start making our way to the city center I'm gonna say government house looks very nice That's, now you'll see things like that which are waiting for me to detail, so I usually detail them if I'm doing a detailing stream or just waiting. So I will probably make this government gardens. This will hold all the civic infrastructure. To be honest, I don't think you're going to get much in there. And this is all going to be farming. So we're going to... Um, I might flip him over, actually. So that just gives me a free run to go in here. What's this set to? Bus lanes. Okay. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Are we using the taxis at all, just out of curiosity? Yeah, we are, actually. And we're we using the trains. Might be a bit. Uh, no, we've got people waiting for trains, so. We've got a train. There's the auroras now. We must have had cloud cover from the rain. So now we're on a transit service. You can see all the empty streets in that, and that will cross over. Whoop, auto save. Hey, Jenna. Come on. Hey, Dippy. Hey, Dippy girl. Come on. Come on. No fluffy, Dippy. No fluffies. Come here. Whoa. Whoa. Ha ha. Here's our Dippy girl for the night. This is Juno, my seven-year-old half reggae floof. She's my absolute derpy girl. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Where's she run? You just want cuddles? You just want cuddles? Smooches. She's a princess. Absolute princess. <laughs> Bump. Whoops. Let's get out of the train mode because he's going back out of the city. You won't see any excitement there. Okay, I'm just wondering if I should, um, just for the moment, because we're not running buses there yet. So what I'll do is 
So I think this has been set up to take Metro in that. And I f am I... Did I set that to cycling? I did too. That would have been an anticipation for me wondering what to do. Because there's the transit way in that. It's usually kind of, you know, um, give me a second. Let's see if I can go and... Oh, here we go. The construction should start again any moment. Yeah, it just did. I'll see if I can... So let's look. Uh, moon's going down. So where are we going to... Let's see if I can find... Um... Okay, the sun's going to rise from that angle. Okay, so we'll turn around. There you go. So you can see the entire... Okay. I'll be back in just a moment. See if I can find um, Connor. There he is. There he is. Here's Trunkers. Trunkers cat. Come on. <laughs> hey, Chunky. You just like that cat, huh? Whoa, we just picked up Chip and Rat with a raid. Hello, Chip and Rat, how are you?
Welcome everyone. I'm doing well. We're on Sea Skylines tonight. We've just finally released the simulator in the game. And it's raining. But welcome Raiders. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well tonight. What were we up to tonight? Since I can type to save myself. Are you also doing city side? Oh, doing well. It's Wednesday. Short week because we had a public holiday on Monday. So, you know, um, that said, it was busy, busy with work today. Right, we're going to pause the simulator. And we're going to look at doing some more expansion. <laughs> so what were you up to in your city um, this evening? Well, this evening for me. Up into your, with your city today. And thank you for the raid. And welcome Raiders. Thank you for the follow. Free, free Palestine 39. Okay. So. Residential demand is where it's going to be at. So we've got to work out how we're going to do this. What I might do... I might do specialize a little bit now. <laughs> I don't usually take calls that late at night, team. That's a big no no. And especially while I'm streaming. Thank you. <laughs> Both transit. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah, well, traffic's always fun. What just out of curiosity, what is our traffic? 87%. Are we backed up already, or are we just picking up a lot of dummy traffic that it picks up? Okay, this intersection is gonna bog. So what we can do. Yeah, that's all fine might just um bring the junction re junction restrictions off so that them flow through a bit quicker Yeah, that should calm them down a bit. If it's still not going to play nicely, what I can do is, um, yeah, see, it's cleared it up. Is that because we've got dummy traffic? It, this is giving us 87%. Was it just this one particular intersection where we're going to play up? Yeah, it's just going to be this one particular intersection because of the way. Um, it feeds in. Although that said, that's now set for higher speed. Although that said, as we continue to develop, or, um, and the game settles down, we should be drawing people away from it. Yeah, at the end, well, I've only just, this map's only just started. So, <laughs> you, yeah, a little bit green to start with. Okay, so let's take a look. So this one could potentially play up a little bit. Um, nothing I can really do about it, although that said it should. So once the transit gets going, it should improve things a little bit. But let's just get... Um, okay, we've got a railway line, double railway line here. So that... Um, really impacts, so you don't want anything on those roads. So what we might do is, um, I'm just trying to think, what small road am I going to use for this, this one? Where's the node? 
Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, damn. Not quite what I wanted. Uh, I'm just wondering if I can brace this. So, let me just... Just give me a second. I really want to get this done. Okay, we're going to do that, are we? And then what we will do is... Uh, 2 plus 1 is in... This one? It is. And it is... That one. Oh! Yes! The, um, the CSL music mod's throwing up Christmas music. Because reasons. It has a tendency to... And they'll throw up this. Okay, so... Are there any power lines in this area? I don't think there is. I think I drew them... Okay, so we can't put power... Anything there and there. Okay, so what I need to do... Tell that's going to be one hot mess. So those are going to have to be good ways. And then what we'll do is bring the junction restrictions on. Um, and that allows that to happen. So we're listening to whatever that is. Okay, so the best way to handle that. So we're just going to make it low density. Nothing fancy schmancy. Just going to keep it light. Because of... Um, I might keep that free for... I might just make that a forest. Because I can. Okay, so... Whoa, what was that? That's a tram road. Not planning to build trams in that area. Okay, so let's run this across. These are not going to perfectly line up. I'm not particularly concerned. Now, to get the maximization of that zone, of this, what we will do is get a fence. We will go to ore. I said or. And we will run. Prop Anarchy is off. And that's how you get four. And then you do the same on this side. Fastest way to knock zoning off. Um, so four. So two. two. gives a few options there to work with and then what we will do oh auto save is on see now we've switched over to crusader kings i think we has so the csl music mod um, plays different samples from the different paradox games i'll just wait till that quits out to see what we're on kingdom of jerusalem electro orchestra I think that one might be dedicated to cities, actually, so. Right. So we're just going to run this down.
then what we will do there is okay that's a control a scenario ah oh, is that not going to work because that's ooh, that's going to cause collision alarms no it's not Might just take that particular node off. Actually, I don't like that's too hard up. Okay, we'll try that again. So let's try this again. Across. I don't know why I'm giving a crap about safety. I must be feeling generous today. Oh well. That's a case of oh well. Okay, so now we'll go here. Uh, wrong roads. Uh, I think we'll just use these roads in this instance. Oh, I need to turn that back on. Because I don't get the snapping I want. Uh, one more over. Okay. And then we will... Yeet this. And they don't leave a message. Guys, I'm not going to... Well, they might have left an email. So I'll give them the benefit of that particular doubt for the moment. Okay, we're going to do all Christmas music. Thanks, game. Excuse me, team. Give me a minute. All right, so that's set up. Um, so now we'll just do this side quickly. So let's just work this back. So this is just gonna be. Okay, I'll sort the zoning up to that in a minute. Oh, now that's gonna go down nicely and then Um, actually I might, let me just actually change that, something a little bit more, yep, okay, so I just need to do defenses here, 
Uh, not quite. Not how far I'm doing this from light years away either. Yeah, we'll run that. Run that there. Is Anarchy still on? It is too. Well, that's interesting to note. Uh, I need to probably take node snapping back off. Okay. Ah, and that's given us a little bit more to work with there. Um... Ooh. Caches, do I put another road up there or not? Game behave. Um, does that have street? That one doesn't have street lighting. That one drives me nuts. This one does have street lighting. So, uh, is that back off? Let's turn that back on. So it's, yeah, the only problem is the zoning has a nasty tendency to do it. Yeah, because that's got street lighting on board, and that's what I want. Okay, so both of those are done. So let's get the water. District heating is already set up. So we just need to um, do some quick infrastructure, starting with Civic. So we'll shove in a yoga park there. Shouldn't need that. Um, we'll shove in a small um, paramedic station. Okay, so that should be fine there. So now that just needs a school. I said school. A community school will be more than enough to handle that. Oh, okay. No, we're already at maximum capacity of the schools. Good to know. Okay, so. That did not take particularly long. Okay, so. Let's get the schools lined up. So one there. Uh, is it daytime? Yeah, it is. So that's another factor I've got to work out and we'll chuck in another one there and just for safety measures I'm gonna chuck in one there what are we at with high schools nowhere near so that's fine um, the problem is with what paradox has done with libraries is that they are tr they're treated as the same as parks so if you've got an abundance of parks like I have a tendency to do, the pretty libraries are pretty useless. So bear that in mind. Small park. Small park. Small park. Now I just need a couple of playgrounds. Speaking of which, Stellaris is going to be getting good with the new Nemesis um, DLC due out very shortly. So, instead of waiting for the endgame crisis with the Fallen Empires, you become the endgame crisis where the galaxy is trying to stop you. Is it going to be fun and cars? You bet it is. Will I be doing it? You got it. So, stay tuned for more as we become the end game crisis in Stellaris. Uh, no. Wait. I can probably afford a... Statue of shopping. My freaking foot. That's a long one, so that needs to be in a dedicated spot. And that is not it. So, we'll put him there. It's not going to mean much. OK. 
Okay, so that's done, that's done. Oh, I need a fire department. To be honest, I'm probably going to put another... Uh, what way are we facing? Team? What way are we... Oh, okay, so that would be sitting... There. And we just need one more... Police. Police. Thank you. And I'll put him... There. So that means all we need to do is some zoning. Okay, I'm going to use the mixed zoning for that. So I'll show you what I mean by mixed zoning. Um, no, that's actually going to be fine. The runabout's there. So mixed zoning, because I've got the zoning mod set up, we can do mixed zoning. Which allows me to do that, that, and that. That and that. Okay. Um. I'm just pondering whether or not. Oh, interesting who I've got. Uh, do I or don't I? Um, I'll put that as off. I am just... Ah! Oh. You see, we've got a bucket load of industrial demand. In fact, we've got industrial demand coming up as well. So... Oh, okay. Is that a free lot? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Was, I didn't know that um, had Parkify. Um, Parkify set up. create a whole industrial complex out of that. If I wanted to, that would be an interesting project to do actually. How many jobs are these going to give? 7, 7, 15, 21. It will be enough to carry. Anything else will be carried uh, through the office. Now, I am just wondering, should I, shouldn't I? The answer is yes, we are going to do it. Okay, so. Okay, I'll set that up for three by prefix. Okay, so we are going to do, oh, haven't I done that yet? No, we're not going to be doing that yet, team. I forgot to do two minor things. Just wait for the autosave to clear out. Okay, so give me a second. I just need to put a couple of holes in my fences so I can do this. Yeah, it's going to muck up the zoning for a minute. I am aware of this. And then we'll shoot back over to the fences.
Okay, take that off. Okay, let's just do something very quick. This is going to be rather... That's going to cut across right over. That's going to have to end up in a bus lane. Oh, that's going to suck. Okay, so that's done. Now, what I need to do first is I... Wrong one. Wrong... Uh, no, correct one. It's a bus line. So I need to set up the prefixes. So we use the prefixes in this game. So um, this is the feeders. So it gets called... Named that. So this is using the transport line manager, which is a mod. These will be that color. So that's fine. I don't need to know where he cut. So that's and now we set him up. So biofuel bus. Um, not that. That's a very sucky bus. A ninety. And those. Uh, yep. Let's set him up. Budget. Ticket prices. Always set to two dollars. I don't. Need, uh. No, that's enough. That's enough, and switch onto that over, drop that over there, and give it its name. Yeah, because it goes around, it goes around the district. Okay, so that's using the transport line manager. Now that is all the way over here. Okay, so we should be away we off. Well, that has to be the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Oh, but well, whatever. Well, at least it stopped raining in the game, so hey. So you can see the tram lines I've set up ready to go as we get ready to do the city centre. So I should be doing that tomorrow's stream as we slowly start making our way over. Guys, are we so where's he going to start? Oh, he's going to start here, is he? The good thing is about that with those um, two plus ones is and it. It, technically it's a six lane road it's just got build outs on it as you can see so when the bus stops are done it just indents itself but it's just, as you'll also see that's so sorry technically it's an eight lane road Oh, that's a huge no-no. Oh, that's because we've still got the... 
was just gonna say, why the heck is that there? So I said, why the heck was that still there? Yeah, so we got a. Yes, it's using uh, base game, um, so no mods of that. Use your bus lanes. Although you need TMP to kick them out, kick the, kick the traffic out fully. So use bus lanes, and um, that will be the biggest one. Um, if you're using mods and it's TMPE, um, let me just stop that for a second. So there's two ways you could do it vanilla and base, uh, vanilla and mod. Base game is use your roads. So um, like this one. Okay, use your bus lanes. Just remember with bus lanes is that traffic can't, um, don't take it all the way up to an intersection, otherwise any traffic that needs to turn is gonna get stuck. So you would. You would do this. So, um, well that doesn't matter, that's because that bus lane's going that way anyway. So what you do here is you stop it and then just do general. So if you were doing it with vanilla. So this is vanilla. That's vanilla. So you would go. So I'll use both. Yeah, use your bus lane roads. So there's two of them. So they're available. I think I only just on the four lane and... The six lane. Okay, so those are the base game. And then what you then do is you go. Uh, don't do it one with bike lanes. Um, sorry. So for that one. Uh, sorry, it'll be this one. Um, this one will always give a a, um, a, a, um, a node. It's just the way the road is set up. I think, hang on, because that's parking's knocked out. Oh yeah, those ones always have parking on them. So the only, I think the only way to knock it out is, yeah, put a cycle lane. So there, yeah, that's how you would do it. If you're using mods, again, same roads, although I've got NEX2 available. So I can create bus lanes in that, uh, busways in that. But what you would then do using mods is through TMPE. Uh, policies. Is ban private cars and trucks out of bus lanes. But remember, when doing that, because the cars can no longer turn left or right at the intersection, you've got to do this. So use, this is using Vanilla Plus, but the concept's the same. So yeah, bus lanes. I do not see a lot of streamers use bus lanes. I think I'm one of the very few that do. And you, as you can see, you can see I've got the bus lanes laid down. Ready to go. Because it's not only buses, taxis, and emergency service vehicles, and the post service will use it. Yeah, so use your bus lane roads. They are available in the base game. They're also available in network extensions to a vanilla plus plus. Uh, vanilla plus roads. But you've just got to remember that with intersections, especially if you're batting cars and trucks out of the bus lanes fully, 
that your bus lane ends before it gets to the intersection. So your general traffic can make its turn. Um, so if you're doing left-hand traffic, left. If you're doing right-hand right hand traffic, right. Ooh, are they going to be overwhelmed already? Ooh, okay, that's going to be interesting to watch. I'll keep an eye on that. And you can see all the cyclists going down the bike lanes. So we'll let them do this circuit and then we'll get ready to raid. And I will be back tomorrow with more city skylines as we start moving into the city centre. One thing I do like, I do try and keep in my cities and keep them green. So you'll see lots of trees in that. I do try and keep it nice and green. So at least you have some nature. Around he goes. So those, if you're wondering what those fences look like, that. And then away we go again. So that is a very quick and easy bus lane service. Oh, look at that. These are already going for it. Wow, that's a big boy. Might make him historical so we don't lose him. So yeah, it's all go, go, go. So I'll take a quick snapshot for that so I can put it up on the Discord. Yeah, so bike lanes and bus lanes are your friends in keeping traffic moving. And then, of course, you've got your trams, your rail, and monorail after that, and metro rail after that. But in the meantime, we.